Um, just to start off with a interesting thought. You know, Moshe Rabbeinu gave over, the, the Baruch Hashem told him in this week's passion to give it over to Yeshua. The leadership, the Moshe Atayra, was given over to Yeshua. Now, what was the mile of Yeshua that he was Zaycha to this Messiah Satayra? What was Yeshua so special that he was Zaycha to the Messiah Satayra? And not only that, we see the Ramban explains to us in Pasha Shlach when it goes through the Miraglim. The Ramban says that the Seda Hadvarim and the Psukim are for the Seda how great they were. Yeshua is number five. It means he wasn't the biggest person in Klai Yisrael. So why was Yeshua Zarechah to be Mitzah What? Mishai. Mishai, yeah. Let's explain like this. You know, in this week's parasha, it says about Yeshua, and then the next parasha talks about the Talmud. What's the connection? And the answer is Pashat. In order to be Zarechah, and Lima da Torah has to be Talmud. If it's not Talmud, as much as you could go ahead and learn, it's not, it's not okay. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be kind. You know, Torah is Nimshok is Sam Chayim. Imagine you go to a doctor and he prescribes you medicine for 10 days. Thank you very much. And you tell the doctor, um, you know what? I'm going to take them all now because I have a busy 10 days. I have a busy schedule. I'm going to just take them all 20 pills now, two pills a day. I'll put them all down now and I'll be fine. Like says, Ms. Sugar, you're gonna die from that. It needs to be done twice daily. Else you're not gonna, it's not gonna work. That's what carbon tom it is. Carbon tom it is twice daily. Imagine you have a he decides, you know what, he's going to donate to the base of Mikdash. He wants to come in, he comes in with tractor trailers, trailers full of oxen. And he's like, look what I'm coming to donate to the base of Mikdash. And it comes the early morning, and they tell him, and she'll you have to wait, don't, don't bring it in yet. And he sees, okay, he's waiting patiently. And he sees the guy in him, I'm making a girl. He's a little excited, they're probably raffling off who could take thousands of oxen. He came with this huge trucks and upload. And he comes in there, and he sees, I'm making a girl. What's the girl about? A little canvas walking through. They make a girl for this. He's like, you make a girl for this. Imagine what type of girl they're going to make for his oxen. And he's like, okay, I'm going to come back. You know what? You don't have time for, for my hacks. I'll come back. Fine. He comes back. He had a busy day. He toured you Shalayim that day. And he comes back in the evening. And they tell him, sorry, the Talmud Ben Abayim was brought already. He's like, what is this Talmud? And he's, they tell him, they show him a picture. of this little kebis. He's like, Are you, I'm coming with his loads and loads of huge axes. And you're coming with his little kebis. Machlot son is for me. And what's the chat? He comes once a year, he tries to get his foot in there. It's not going to happen. You come with the Tumids. You come with a little thing, even if it's a little bit. But if you come constantly, you're not mafsik. Every day, there's no hafsik. A person goes ahead and he learns. He learns Dafi Yaimi, he learns Ahmed Yaimi, he learns whatever program he's on. Or he comes here every day. And he's not a mafsik. So then the pshat is, that by him, he has this carbon Tumid. What was Yeshua Benun? Yeshua Benun... Right? He didn't leave a day. See, he wasn't the biggest land and the biggest. It doesn't make a difference. Like Marsh, like Zaz, Yadim, Mitach, Yadish, Amaisha. Yalkut says on him that he was exil. They called him exil. But still, he was Zaycha to be the Maisa Ataya. Why? Because this Nikuda. He had the Tamit. There's no such thing. You learn Tari, you think you take off a day. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. It has to be a daily thing on them. There's a hafsik status. Yeah, that's how important it is not to be mafsik. Okay. No, no federal holidays. No federal, right, exactly. No holidays, no this. I see online, no, so I don't listen. No hafsik. No, no hafsik. I'll say one interesting uh, mice. Maybe you heard this mice. Efshik and Efshalo, but like upon him, just a minute before before we start. You know, there was a Chaum. You ever heard of Chaum? Chaum was good, eh? You heard of that town? You ever there? No there's a... born there. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a true town. It's not the uh, Baba So Chaum, there was this person. His wife got sick. They go to the doctor. The doctor says, you need 
Every day you need two cups of goat milk. That's going to get you better. Don't just get goat. They tell him go to Shavel. Shavel is a town nearby, two hour drive, two hours away. Well, go there, get a goat, and you'll milk the goat, and try you'll have enough milk for forever. You'll serve, you give it to your wife, she'll feel better. He's on his way to Shavel. He stops. He stops in a hotel, right? In an inn. And then about a good gown of Dalton. He gets he tells him, he tells him, asks him, what are you doing here? He says he's on the way to Shavel to get a goat, his wife. So he, so he tells, he tells this guy, this guy tells him, okay, very good idea. I can go to Shavel over there, they sell goats. But on your way, this is like, you know, Avramovinu, he went to the inn. On the way, he went back to the same inn. It's like, make sure you come back to my inn. No problem. So it's a good, a good idea, Taki. You go, you cost the time. You take me in, fine. He goes to Shavel, he buys a goat. They tell him this goat can milk hundreds and hundreds and thousands of gallons of milk. Cavalli classic for 10 years. Might have Fine. On his way back, obviously, he's in the Kayan Gots and Balabayas. He stops in the inn. This innkeeper goes ahead. And he switches the goat from an akeva to a zacha. What's a zacha goat? What's it called? A goat with zacha. A ram? No, it's not a ram. No, he goat. He goat. He goat. Okay, whatever. He goes ahead and he switches it. Fine. This guy doesn't know this. He goes back home and they start. His wife tells him, "No, where's the goat?" He says, "Yeah, I brought a shovel." Try. He did try to milk the goat. Obviously, just over to over to him. Said you got the wrong goat. He goes back. He goes back to the to, to shovel, and he tells he goes to the innkeeper. What does the innkeeper do? He switches it over there in Achamal, and now he's going to shovel with the with the with the with the with the, the Nakeva goat. Right? So he comes to shovel. He says, "Not a goat." They say, "What are you talking about?" We'll milk it right in front of you. They milk it. He goes back. He starts by the inn again. The guy switches it. He gets it. He gets a chalm and shovels the shlokz gadotin. So chalm says, tells it. You know what? We're going to write 150 signatures that this is a zacha goat you're getting from shovel. Fine, they come to Shavel. Shavel's writing 150 signatures that you're getting a goat from Scandia. What's going on? The kids said they came out. Shana Mokim, Shana Mazel. The gate don't get Zazai. They don't get Zazai. But what's the Pshat? What's the, really the Pshat? When you're mafsik for something, you don't have to be mafsik with that tipish. What was the guy stopping for? Yeah, the Manol, the Mol is stopping. It's a two hour drive. What's he stopping for? The person's mafsik. If you're mafsik and limit, I'll tell you, you give yourself a vacation since July 4th. Shine, been a part of Atlanta. What's for Hatu does? The Bible is not mafsik that I that he does for us. He tells us to connect him and limit, I'll tell you. What's the This code kind of goes on the bottom. It doesn't make a difference. Is this the Milan, the Talmud? Ah, Maradu. Okay. Now let's go to some. Let's learn some Shvar Zach. So we're dealing with Ikevitafel. As we know, we dealt with it already last week, and we had many shiurim on it. Last week we said ischadushim. We just have to go bekitza, and then we'll move on to some cases. We know that it's a machlekes. And Shlaimer said he spoke about it. Machlekes the derechachaim and the prima gadol. The be'alocha and simin eshud beis of all of the mamaschal ve'im brings from a derechachaim. It says ikiv etafel. He says, Ikev etafel is tali echashivis, which you're more machshivs. So let's talk about a regular case that we understand. You have a meat salad, chicken salad. Your wife comes and says, okay, from now on you stop, stop being healthy, not chicken by itself, chicken with the salad. You come home and you look at this, Rebbeinu Shalala, this is salad and gather, maybe you'll find a piece of chicken. But your wife says, it's a chicken salad. Shai, so this is what you're eating tonight for supper. Chicken salad. Salad with a few pieces of chicken. Shai. So, the shayla is what bracha to make on this chicken salad. So now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong? Who needs a box? Who needs a box? What's wrong with Who needs a box? Yeah. Your head goes off. Okay, fine. This is Gavaldi. No? Perfect. Okay, okay. We're fine. And the box is not the better box. Yeah, box. No, we don't need a box. Just go. Yeah. It's like this. So so the shaila is so the Dachim says you go boss Hashivas. What's Hashivas? If your wife's just gonna serve you salad, that's not gonna go over well. Obviously, she told you there's some chicken in there, so you'll find the chicken as you dig in over there, you'll find some chicken. So Zak the Dach Hachim, Machmana Brocha, Shahakal. Even though most of it is salad, 
the greens and the tomatoes and the whatnot. And today they serve it everybody who eats and they have oranges and the right? So we tell you that that's considered a bracha of shahakal. Primagodim argues and Primagodim says it's tali and rave. What does rave mean? Whatever is most. You have most of salad, so you make adam. Now, we have a steer a little bit because the Mishabura brings down in, in, in the Mishabura itself, he quotes the Prima Gaudim that's Tali and right? And the Be'alach, he quotes the Da'achayim. What do we know? Learning Halacha for already a few years, what do we know if there's a steer? Mishabura and Be'alacha, what do we go with? Mishabura. Be'alacha was just a lamda shesefer. Mishabura is the psak. So if so, we go in the, if you're a Tamil, the Chavetz Chaim, you go with the Mishabura that the Prima Gaudim, the Italian Rai. And you'll make Adam on this salad, you should make Adam. Make an on the, on the... Oh, so we're going to get to all the cases. The I'm just trying to say the Kali is the Zach. So now, there's a Chuvus Minchas Asher. Rabbi Weiss, in Chelek Bey, Simen Yodal, at Ois Tess. Who do we pass them like? We have Machlikas, the Achachayim, Prima God. Who do we pass them like? So he brings from the Vizay Sabrach of Hashem, Rabbi Yashiv. Rabbi Yashiv said, you always make a bracha on right. That's like the Prima God. Why? Zakhtar Balyashiv, because, or maybe the Zaysa Bracha explains like that, the halacha that you go by the Rav, the Gabi Bracha, is not because the Rav is next of Iker, and the me it's tafel Ba'ena B'nei Adam. It's partially the Dim Bittal Rav. It's like Rubai Kekula. So we haven't gone Shas, Rubai Kekula. So why should Brachas be any different? So therefore, Zakhtar Balyashiv, again, maybe it's Zaysa Bracha saying this, like upon him, he says the Yusayid is Rubai Kekula. And just like in Kalatari Kuli, you go by Sriba Kikulai, so too over here you go by Sriba Kikulai, and therefore you would make Adama on the south. That's what the Vizay Sabrachim quotes from the Yash. Kum to Rabbi Weiss and says, No. Ruba Kikulai, no, we don't try Bachla. I think it's a big Kiddish. I don't believe Rabbi Yash said it like that. But Akaponim, that's what he's quoting. Oh, oh you might have it. Well, he puts it on the screen. Um, Simon. Ice test, simon your dollar, ice test. You have simon test. No, this is a different one. This is a country brother. Okay, basically, let's go back to the, the road okay. back to the narrative. Okay, fine. Akaponim. So, the Mechus is very bothered with this. He says, What does Brachas have to do with Bittal Bereiv? There's no Shaykhis. Therefore, he passes like the Dachachachayim, that is Tali and Chashivis. Reb Chaim Kenevsky answered me that it's Tali and Rav and not Chashivis. So, Reb Chaim Kenevsky went with a Shwe. Not always did he go with the shver, but he went with the shver. That it's tali in rave and not chashivas. Again, that's the pimagadim. Yeah, mishabur says pimagadim. The back of Kamenetsky always said, "When it's machlekes mishabur and be'alach, we said that you go basa, basa mishabur. Therefore, the mishabur calls the pimagadim. So you go basa rave, not chashivas. Now, the pischei alacha. Again, I always quote him, Rabbi Forrest from Farakaway. He's a so over there he explains Mahi Agdara se Ikka. He goes to being Magda, how do I Magda Ikka? And he says as, as follows Haklala you say the Hamaikl Shekavanose Elo Bimiyuchit, who are Ikka. What's by you, Miyuchit? That's the Ikka. Ava Mashabal is Saki in Lahatim as Ikka, Nachshav Ketafa. If it's just helping out the Ikka, that's a Tafa. Even though the Tafa is Chavim, you enjoy the Tafa very much. You enjoy the salad very much. But if the chicken by you is the ikr, you're eating the salad only because there's chicken in there, you would make a shahaka. If you're eating the salad because there's salad, you want the salad, then you'll make a adam. But if you're eating it only on the ikr, and he says it's very schwer to be machlet, which one is the ikr? Fine. Now we'll go in deeper detail. Now like this. I asked him, I asked the Pisgah Alacha, I asked him that what of who's kaveh? Is the maker of it kaveh or the person that's eating it kaveh? Your wife is making the salad because she wants you to eat the salad. You're eating the salad because you want to eat the chicken. So who do you go, boss? The 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 oisa eichel, oisa michael, or the eichel? The mavarik. The mavarik. That's what you ask him. He said he's mesupik in this, and he wasn't machriyah. What happens if the uh... 
Oh, uh, we'll speak about that. What? No, so it comes out, you're sitting on the table with your wife, and she made a chicken salad for supper. So you oh no, oh my gosh, again you did this fine. But tonight you were in a good mood. You decided you're gonna be you listen to her, sure. So, so you're sitting there and eating the salad, and she's eating it for the salad, you're eating it for the chicken. So you both can make two different brachas. You're eating the same exact thing. She makes our dhamma, and you make a shakal. Right? The way we're saying it now. You go by the she wants it for the salad, you want it for the chicken. It's under brachas. Okay, now. There's, we didn't pass on anything yet. We're just saying the what, what could be. Now, there's a big shaila by many paiskim is do I go bust a rev amin or rev bracha? Which means like this. Let's say I have fruit, I have oranges in the salad. That's rev amin. Fine. But I have in there cucumbers. Oranges, cucumbers, and tomatoes. You ever had salad? Never had yet? Fine, you'll get there. Oh, yeah, you know what? Oranges sounds a little funny. Avocado, cucumbers, and tomatoes. That's already normal today. People eat avocado. What broccoli do you make an avocado? Hey. Hey, right. We know that. People get mistaken with that. That's a bad mistake. Avocados are grown on a tree. You make a and avocado. Fine. So you know that there's eights here. There's cucumbers and tomatoes. They're all a third. A third. There's two meaning that are Adama, but each one is not more chashev than the avocado. There's just rav Adama, but rav Adama for two different meaning. So when I eat, when I put it on the table and I want to split it, I have avocado eats, which is by me more chashev, and it might even be more than the cucumbers by itself or the tomatoes by itself. But the cucumbers and the tomatoes together are more, more than the eats. So I go about the bracha, the bracha adama is more than eights in this thing. It's rave adama. Or I go basa the min. There's cucumbers not more than avocado. Tomatoes not more than avocado. There's only three minim in this thing. So therefore, maybe I should make eights. Even though if they, they get together, Sikhan and I get together, the cucumbers and tomatoes get together, uh, they would be more. But within each other, within itself, it's not more. So what bracha do I make? Good cash. The Achreinim are about this. This is safe for Mishnah Arucha. He says you go basa rav the min, and since rav min are ad eight, rav bracha is adam, but rav min is an eight, and the kano is more than the cucumbers by itself, and it's more than tomatoes by itself. Therefore, I would make eight. But but the other paiskim which we paskin like some zalman. Ms. Kirelitz, Ivan Gerichovsky, Pesach told me this also. They hold that I go about to rave the brach. Rave the brach over here is cucumbers and tomatoes. If they get together, there'll be a hadama. If I go ahead and make a hadama. See here the Yisrael Machlikes? The Yisrael Machlikes is we're going that you go about to rave. But in the basa rave, do a mind with saris. The vegetables all together? Or I say no. There's a vegetable of cucumber. There's a vegetable of tomato. Meaning it's 40 gives the numbers. Avocado is 40 percent. The cucumbers were 30, and the tomatoes were 30. So together, the, the, together there's 60 adama, 40 heights. So if the chicken 50 percent, then for sure I make on the chicken. Chicken sales never gonna be 50 percent. Else your wife didn't do a good job. If you can eat chicken with coleslaw, over there you might, uh, sometimes you know, you eat it together, you have it on the table. So over there, okay, that's another shot. But component, the best is over there, just not put it together and you go ahead. What? Okay, what happened here? Who's, uh, okay. Well, so I'm on here. You're on here. Okay, sure. You look to be okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 The problem is perfect. We hear and we see him as perfect. I see a chicken now. Oh no, okay. That's me, I'm the chicken. Oh, Rabbi, let her the chicken. Do you see the Rav on, on Zoom? Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Perfect, we see him perfectly. Okay, from Gay Bike. Okay. okay. Oh, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. So, again, so we pass in that you make a Adama 
and they could do whatever they want. Yeah. We pass that you make Adama, and even though, sorry, you'll make Adama even though there's more eights, there's 40% of avocado, 30% of tomatoes, and 30% of cucumbers. So the cucumbers can't win the avocado, and the tomatoes can't win the avocado. Still, we all do make eights because, no, sorry, again, Adama, because no, not everyone, but that's what we pass them. You'll make Adama. Again, I'm not talking about now, I'm talking about just in right. What's tight right? Oh, yeah. So we'll get to that. The violet we're going on the side that we pass them like right, like the Mishabu and the Prima Garden. Yeah, okay, we'll get to that more. Yeah, we'll discuss that. Now, there's, let's say, there's three meaning, which means as follows. You have a, oh, that's a good case, right? You have over there chicken, avocado, and adama. I will take out the strawberries and the blueberries today. I think that you can eat, you can mind on eat anything. But I'll come them. Oh, you don't see it. Okay, fine. I just picked the picture of a salad. Okay, we got it. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so you have now three. Now, let's see what, what what's the case. You have AR8, Adama, and Shahakal together. What do you make? There's no rave and there's no meat. Why? What's the number? So, oh, well, what's the numbers? You make any numbers you want. I have a third, a third, a third. Each one is 30, 33%, 33.3, right? right? So now, so Shahakal can't win because it has two against it. Hadama can't win because it has two against it. Ha'etz can't win because it has two against it. What bracha am I making? None of them are right. We explain now that when I have cucumbers and tomatoes against avocado, even though they're different products, that's still considered Hadama, Kenegarites. Fine, we have machoikis. We said we pass them, you make Adam. But when I have when I have now a Ha'it, Sadam, and Sha'akal, what bracha should I make? This is the Ma'isim Machal Yayim, but we go Basarayim. There's no Echel, that's what there's no Echel. There's avocado, there's Sha'akal. What do you do? Classical vegetable salad. You have mushrooms, mushrooms, and Sha'akal. You like mushrooms? The Breiner, the Vasa. Then you have you have vegetables, and then you have in it also uh, um, it's nuts. Okay, it's gather not normally going to be 33 over there. But like a button. Oranges, no. Oranges, whatever it is. Right? So now, so the shout is what bracha do you make on this? What's the acre, if any? Yeah, what's the there is a vegetable part of the salad. I could get that thing. There could be something that's food salad. No, but here, usually, when you have that, they can't get you all vegetable salad. Okay. So, Rabbi Brown, get a chapsky, they can't get the colors of your blind salad. Why not? It doesn't know what to do. There's no liquor. Yeah, I don't know anything. I like it all. I want the whole mix. That's a big problem. So that means not to eat it. That we're not going to be for life. Yeah. 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 was so mufka from this belt. You know, he once he told he told someone to, to he went over to the he thought that it was dessert the, the, the tomato sauce tomato dip and he ate it he ate it by dessert he ate a whole thing of tomato dip and then he went to the cook and he said is a good for the bacham the stomach said this is too too sharp. They once he told he told someone to buy him it was Shaidish to buy him a Shaidish street. So he bought him something. In the afternoon he comes and he takes it away. He, he takes it and it was ice cream, it was all melted. He didn't have supposed to put ice cream in the freezer. He said, a porridge says he's talking by a salad. But we have to know what to make a salad. So I asked this to the Pitzha Allah, he told me make shakal. When you when you talk and don't have what to make, you make a shakal. There is shakal in this. The shahakal or it's an adama. Yeah, Everything. I mean, it's 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 like you're making a shahakal preserve on the mushrooms. On the mushrooms. Can and it? happens to me. Shahakal passes it all. Right. That's what he told me. You want a dingza? You have a license. But uh, this is what he told me. What are you saying, Rabbi, Rabbi Zeldi? No, forget the case. We, we said a case of mushrooms. Make something that the all three very important to you. So what do you do? So what do you do? Oh, you're trying to say is it's it's a it's, 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 it
So let me tell the other on Zoom what Rabbi Trapp is saying. The Trapp is trying to say is that we're blaming Tzarchi and Ram Ganechevsky or the Pesach Halacha says you make a shahakal. Okay, that's very good. He says that the only time you have to make one bracha, the only right license that you have to make one bracha is only because there's an ik of a tafa. That's him. You have three things in front of you. Look at the three things in front of you. Not us. So, so I don't know what to make. So I have an ik of a tafa. Ik of a tafa says, look at it like this. This is what I have. I don't have... I don't have three things. I have the ikr. That's it. Everything else is tafel to it. But if, if there's no tafel, everything's the ikr, make three brachas. The same way on your plate. Your wife gives you chicken, rice, and I don't know what bracha you and vegetables, okay? So now, do you say, oh, really? I should really make one bracha and I'm making three? No. It's separate things. I have three things on my plate. I make I make three brachas. Why not? So over here, put okay. those mixed together. The plates, the tzara, the night, have different tafel? No. No. What do you mean? I asked you on your top of plates. You're not metzav anything, right? The plates are metzav. It. It's only if it's mixed in and together. But the rules tell me that I have chicken on a plate and I have vegetables. And you have no acres. No, no zuchanat. You're eating two things separate. You got to make two brachas. That's cool. You have coleslaw and you have chicken. You make two brachas. Adam on the coleslaw, shackle on the chicken. I it doesn't make a difference. I'm eating it separate. It's there for itself. As she was for itself. Watch. So that might, you mix it up. That becomes the roof. So Rabbi Trapp is trying to say is what's going on of it. The wrong going to come to his mesopic and he buys talchin. And pisca halacha tells me shackle. No, no, don't give me this. We brach us again. But answer is not like that. And the shadow is why. I'll tell you why. Because once I mix it in, now it's one thing. You mm -hmm. can't say that it's three things anymore. Once it got mixed, it's one thing. One thing makes one bracha. Now, let's go a little bit back to by Chalm, yeah? We'll fast forward a little bit. What bracha did you make in Chalm? Bar barley, yes, barley, beans, um, potatoes, and meat, yeah? So one guy's going to say he likes the meat. He wants to make shaka. The other guy says he hates barley. His wife puts it in the oven. all the time? He's not interested in eating barley. The other guy says he's only eating for the beans. Why do you like that? That's only their shayim. Because Mishmur doesn't matter whether he likes it. No, no, I understand. Right. I understand. I understand. Okay, good. I, I, I don't mean. I don't mean so much what you like. I meant. I meant what's my matar for eating it. And now I want to know what bracha to make on this. Okay, fine. We don't know what the right, and we can go with the shivas. Yeah. So now, so what bracha do you make on this? You don't say you make three brachas. Pastors, pastors, you don't make three brachas in Chalm. You make one bracha. Now that it got cooked together, this is one thing. It's not three things. This is one mic. You don't see anyone going ahead, splitting off the meat and then splitting off the beans and splitting off the potatoes. It's one mic. On a mic, you make one bracha. So you can't make two brachas. Last week we even saying that if you, even if you can go ahead and separate it, we said there's a tzad to say, a very stark tzad to say, you don't make two brachas. Because since your plan is to eat it together, I don't care if you separated it before. This salad that we're discussing, the chicken salad. We said last week, if you're going to go ahead and take out a piece of chicken and try to make a shackle, just chicken, and then you take out a, a, a vegetable and make just our dhamma, that's you shouldn't do that. Why? Because your matari is really teated together. You're just doing it out of bracha. We have no help. We, we said that. That's what you're eating now. No, I'll repeat his question. No, he's, he's he's coming up with a very good point. Rabbi Trapp is saying that that who cares about this? What we just said now that Shaz became one one food. Okay, so now, but what's the ikka? There's a sugi of ikka tafel that you make one brach. Right, that we know. So now, if the, if there's not the ikka, mechtes to say you make one bracha. We don't know what's the ikka. We have adama, shahakal, and eight. We don't. Know, we have no clue what's the ikka. So if we have no clue what's the ikka, mechtes who gives you a rech to make one bracha? Who says ikka and tafel control all the time? Maybe it's just one way of deciding a shayla, but otherwise you can make. So, but we know of a sugi of ikka and tafel. Ikka and tafel tells you to make one bracha. That means like this. Let me explain it a little better. When I have a cake and I have flour 
eggs, um, sugar, and uh, water, and whatever, chocolate, rice, whatever, yeah? Now, this guy's going to tell me he's eating it not for the flour. He's eating it because he likes the chocolate taste. And this guy's going to tell me, no, he likes the eggs in it. The eggs with the sugar, psst, him is very harsh. Right? He needs, he needs his calories. He needs his eggs. One egg a day keeps the, brings the doctor to, to today. Uh, but kids, uh, so, so, so he goes ahead and he wants the eggs. Yeah? So now, so do we go ahead and say, um, uh, one second, uh, this, this, this rave may be, it's probably less flour than anything else. There's probably more sugar, or there's probably more eggs, or there's probably more oil. Eggs and oil, there's more shahakal with, with chocolate, there's more shahakal in this cake than the flour. Forget the culture, but I'm not going to ask Right? Still, we tell you, you make one brach on this cake. Why do you make one brach on this cake? What do you mean? I don't want it. it was, there's no ikka. There's more, there's rave, 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 rave shahakal. Right? Let's say again, I'm not talking about a mazanis cake, so that gets complicated, because that's culture, but no matter what. But let's say it's a, it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a sweet potato cake. I'm not right. It's a dumb cake. Well, Pesach cake, yeah, Pesach cake. It's a charcoal cake. So you're gonna say that you like the potatoes in the cake. Also not something. Okay, okay, fine. It's all charcoal. But any items that you can think of that you like something else. We don't say um, too bad. It's raiv charcoal, and we say make a charcoal on the cake. We say no. We say what this cake gets only one brach on it since it's one. This is what we have in front of. I don't say that no. I really have egg. And I really have, if I would separate it, there'll be an egg and there'll be some sugar and there'll be some this. I say there's one Michael. When there's one Michael, you make one bracha. Rabbi Trapp is masculine today. Rabbi Trapp is just trying to say is that is not a sugi ikavitafel. It can come back next week and discuss that shayla. That's not an ikavitafel thing, shayla. That's what I'll tell us. Ikavitafel's all the time. No, I understand, but he's saying this doesn't go into the ikavitafel shayla. Why not? Because there's no ikav. I have a third this, I have a third this, I have a third that. I don't have rice. I like both. I want everything in the salad. He doesn't know. Make three. Why not? The text is that it's, he's right, but that it's one Michael. Today it's one Michael. On one Michael, you make one brach. Now the shayla is, if something's cooked, then it's vade one brach. When something's not cooked, make a so it gets it in one Michael. Since I could separate it, when something's baked together, we would have a cake. So a cake is one thing. No one's going to, you can't split it. So that's for sure one bracha. Make a taste by a salad to say it gets one bracha. As of say good. Okay, let's move on. If it's not a suda, I'm, I'm eating now a salad. I went to the smorgasbord. No, I'm, I, have a, I, have a, I have a big chasana ahead of me. I, I went to the smorgasbord and started, I'm going to start off healthy. A salad with chicken. Then I mean, it's a, if there's no into the top there's nothing, nothing. Let's say the bracha should be the kadeh. The bracha is still the chosh of the bracha. If there's only one, let's say it's chosh of the bracha. The chosh, you're saying there's no right? There's no this? Okay, fine. But he, he brought up a very good nakuda, which is a very valid nakuda, the answer to Ram Ganachovsky's collab. Okay, let's move on now because it's getting late. Um, yeah. This okay. Um, let's say you eat the tuffel before the ik. This is very gay. You have a bowl of cereal. We know that you have Cheerios and milk. You're making one brach. You're making a mazanis. Now, let's say you decided, I mean, on your spoon came up first milk. Milk came up because right, the spoon was the top. You put the milk in and the value. Now, what brach do you make on that? You're going to make a eight, you're going to make a sorry, mazinus, or you're going to make a shackle. Right? Why should I make a shackle? Because right now I'm drinking milk. Why should I make a mazinus? Because this is a part of the whole the whole mix, and that's what I'm making a bracha on this thing, so to a salad. Let's say we say you go bus and you're going to go ahead and try to make a shackle on the chicken. But my first fork, and I have a big fork also, I have a pitchfork, and still what only came up was salad. So what are you, how are you making a dumb on this? Let me ask you another shot. You have, you go bus arrive, we said. Mr. Bruce says you go bus arrive. When your wife put the salad on your plate, most of it came salad, not chicken. She has on her plate, mostly chicken and less salad. So in the salad bowl, in the middle of the table, there's mostly salad. But she knows what, so she went and took most of the chicken this is Nagaya Maximum Khayyam with your kids. I don't know if you have a 
Ever watch your kids take out, your wife puts a cold cut salad on the table? The kids, for some reason, have mostly cold cuts and it's a few strings of salad. You le left with a whole, a whole vegetable plate, right? Like your mama should be behind them. Yeah? You know what I mean, Rabbi Black, right? So now, so this all came out of a salad bowl, but when do, when am I kaveh? We we am I kaveh in the kitchen, in, in, the, in, the, in the table, on my plate? What's kaveh the salad? That's where Rabbi Trapp is bringing up a very good nakuda. We use the salad chal, the salad chal on my plate. So I'll separate it and finish it. Was, what's bothering me so much about it? Okay, so, so let's, let's, let's go back to the shot. When I eat the tuffle before the ikir, what bracha do I make on the tuffle? There's a major machlekes between the Shema Sadash and the, the Ramah. The is, is, is to me on the Shema Sadash and the Ramah. Ramah and Dr. Moshe and Ramah and Shachanach. It's good to see. I think we should see it. Raise your base. Sif Aleph. Yeah. Yes, he put it on. The, he put it on. Not the Mishabu. First, let's just go to the Mishabu. First, go to the Rama. Last one. The cherry. Repeat the pages together. The Rama 302. He said, but they have different pages. They have different numbers. Okay, they, they got it. The Rama says like this. Ha de Mivachin ala Ike. Upaite es atvela. Eating it together, yeah, yeah. If you eat the tuffle first, our case, kegoyim she writes a lishdays, the writes a lechel tchila kedei shela yishta aliba rikna. You don't want to eat in the empty stomach. She oichel garine gedoni is the master kshtim mevarech ala oichel tchila afal pishu tuffle. Zakter Ma, you eat, you make a bracha on the Eichel Tchila, even though it's a tafel. Ve'ena mavarach ala v'akshe hakel hayel v'u tafel l'dava echa. He says, tafel l'dava echa. He says, a mayo digalach. He says that it's pashatim, you make a bracha on the tafel first. What bracha do you make? The bracha is just isha hakel. Even, what does it mean? What does it mean the bracha isha even if really the bracha should be something else, but since I'm just eating this as a tafel and I'm eating this first, the bracha is shakal. Zak, the remote claw that the bracha of the tafel, you make a bracha on the tafel. What bracha do you make? You make a bracha shakal. The Magan Avram and Sifkat and Dalit is very bothered with this, but we're not going to go through it. There's a guy in, and there's many. Um, Shittas, I just want to say a bit because we have to move on. The Rima says, you always make a shakal on that tuffle. What does that mean? You have a Adama, that's going to be the Iker. You have a or eight, that's a tuffle. What bracha do you make? And now you're eating the tuffle. What bracha do you make? Shakal. It's not an honor because we don't pass numbers. Um, that's what the Rima says. The Beis Yosef and the Goyen say, you make a, again, we had our Dhamma, that's the Ica, we had our Eitz, that's the Tafel. You're eating the Eitz first, that's what came on your spoon. The Ramah says you make a Shahakal no matter what. Even though there's no Shahakas to the Bracha, I'm supposed to make Eitz. Because since it's a Tafel, it loses its Cheshiv and you make a Shahakal. Because I also love the Bracha, so we eat eating first. Yeah, but it's Fatu. Uh, you can't eat anything in this world. Can we share now? We skip down and down both. That's a good. Oh, okay. So there's a whole arichas in this. We're not going to go through it. Uh, to... Yes, he brings it. It's arichas in Jumas Adeshen. Just try to learn it up. It's Jumas Adeshen. It's it's a Jumas Adeshen. Similar, I'm an Aleph. He brings me varach al tznayin by the zayin. It's a whole tmarches ruah. The seisif. Hopefully, you'll see it sometime. I just want to. I want to. I want to move to the next case. So now, so. So that's the Tumas Adashim, and that's the Ramah. The Lavush and the Taz go with this Ramah. The Beis Yosef and the Goyen argue, and they say you make the Bracha Aroi the Kach, which means you make Aitz. So let's go back to our case. You have cereal and milk. The first spoon you're picking up is milk. 
you make eight shakram. The Magen Avram says it's totally what the Bech is Ike. If the Bech of the Ike is shakram, then the tofel that's eaten beforehand is a shakram. If the Bech of the Ike is a different Bech, you make the Bech of a tofel a royal. Okay. So we have a three-way machlaik. Let's repeat. The Rama goes with the Trim Sedashan. You, if you eat, we were discussing here, you're eating the tuffle first. What bracha do you make in it? The Ramah says you make a shackle no matter what. I don't care if the tuffle is eight, I don't care if it's a dumb, I don't care if anything. You make a shackle. The Vesayis and the Gaian say you make the bracha that it's meant to be, which is if it's eight, you make an eight on it, even though the ikr is a dhamma, but since you ate that first, you're going to make an eight. The Magen of Rome says it depends. You ate this thing first. You, you had this. Therefore. Therefore. So what do you mean therefore? So therefore we have machlaikis. If I make, what bracha do I, I, I definitely make a bracha on this. Everyone agrees you make a bracha on this. The shayla is what bracha? The Tumasadash and the Ramah, they hold you make a shahaka. No matter what the bracha is, no matter what this thing is, you make a shahaka. The Beis and the Goyans say, you make what this thing is. Normally, you wouldn't make the bracha because it's a tafel. Since you started eating it first, you'll make the bracha, which is royal kach. So eight, you make eight. The Magen Avraham says, no, depends. If the bracha, the ikka is shahakal, you'll make on this thing a shahakal. If the bracha, the ikka is something else, you'll make the bracha of the ikka a royal. Fine. So if the bracha, the ikka, that means the ikka was shahakal and the tafel was eight, I make a shahakal on the tafel. If the bracha, the ikka was a adama or eight, and then I go ahead and I have a shahakal for the tafel, I'll make a bracha shahakal because of the tafel. Shahakal always wins the kitchen. Now, what are we passing? The Mishabur says, since Kivan, Sheyesh, and they hold that when you eat the tuffle, ain't all of shame tuffle klal, says, I'm a little bit stuck. I normally don't like to argue on a remote. But since Mishabur is a shahatsi and Aish of Dalit, and the Bialacha, Rashid Bais of Alif the Mask of Aina. Dalit. Uh, so the of Dalit is um, a, no, a little further, further. 303. 303. A little further down. Okay. 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 Further, you go into Chavalet. Chavbez. Chavbez next. No, no. Chavdalet. There's no Chavdalet? Is there? Oh, there is. Sorry. Sure there is. Page 305. Page 305. Bottom of 305. Right before Rachel Kimmel begins. No, you're... Oh, right, 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 you make a bracha, it doesn't have a shame tafel. You should make the bracha really Stay away from it, which means if I'm eating cereal with milk and I pick up the first spoon with the milk, put it in, put it right back in. Okay? I'm eating salad with chicken. There's rave right chicken. And by mistake, I picked up, I did I picked up the salad first. Chicken, girlfriend? Yeah. Let's say. And I picked up salad first. Right? I'm just, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever the case is. So then the Mashabu the Mesa Pasch is now like the Ramah. 
normally passes like the Ramah, but he says not like the Ramah, since most Achreinim, which is the Goyim and the Besmeah, argue. So therefore, Zok to Meshavur, you should really make the bracha on that Tafel. Okay? So now, let's talk about Chalons. You come to Chalons. You're going to make, mo- a lot of people make a Mazayimus. Many times, that potato is large, and you pick up the potato first. What bracha should I make on that Chalons potato? So, there are Paiskin. Um, no, no, I don't think the whole three acre. And there's a pound of this culture yesh bay. Once you culture yesh bay, it's mazinus. The barley is culture yesh bay, you make it mazinus. No, one second, one second. No, I didn't pass me that. I'm just. Okay, 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 okay. So, so let's discuss this. So now, the Ibrahim Knievsky said, even if it's nicker or the minim, you make a mezainus on Shalom and that's it. So uh, yeah, first, that's it. Uh, the first told me, I might have told him the same thing that, that he heard from Shem of Simchazal at Riga. Moshe didn't tell me. And the first from Chicago told me that Moshe told him that Simchazal at Riga Paskin that you make a mezainus on Shalom. That's it. That's you heard of Simchazal at Riga? Price and Price brisk, right. The barley and these chones that I buy, it's not nicker. It's so well cooked, you can't even find the barley. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get him from barley. No, 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 he's right. <laughs> barley cooks quicker, and barley dissolves. No, it dissolves. A lot of times you can't see it. You get shown. Depends how long your wife puts on, how before Shabbos, your wife puts up the shown. Friday afternoon, it's Friday night. Yeah. Oh, if this kishka. True. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Only one brought on child design is magic. Yes. Even if the barley is dissolved, the barley has to be nicker. And you can't, and then the No, I didn't, yeah, okay, one second. What's that? Oh, that's what I want to discuss. That's how we came into it. So now, so now, so let's say, I mean, should we go through all the deal in the child now? One second, okay, what's that? So now the Shiloh was, let's say I'm eating the potato first. That's what's going to get it to us for right now. So I'm asking him to make just the mezainas, but he had picked up one big potato and that's what I'm eating first. Well, I have the meat first. So called she ate, but... Right? I mean, the top for the acre. Mr. Bruno tells us, throw back the tuffle right back in. Then again, let's say another case. What bracha you spoke about already? So I'm not going to. So let's test them. You have a, um, a cone, which I'll show this now. Everyone, right now, ready. Your milk is most of the time. So now you have a cone with ice cream. You make two brachas or one bracha. What do you come out? You have an ice cream sandwich. Two brachas or one bracha. The chalikas? What are we doing? What do we have to be here for my chalikas? That we could have. Huh? You came out of the Zionists? Two brachas. Two brachas, you came out. Okay, we have machlokes. Oh, yeah, yeah, machlokes, but uh, you yeah, have different opinions. I don't see how it can't be two brothers. Okay. Ice cream in a cone. It's not agav. I don't, yeah. it's possible to make two brothers. Rebelsky writes that, and in fact, the like that. You make two brothers ice cream in a cone. Okay, it's two different things. It's got to be eaten together, but that, that's two different things. Because I'm trying to say is over there, it's much more shriach. If you hold, you only make a mezayin. I wanted to hear that and say make a mezayin. On the, on the, the yeah, on the ice. No, that's why over there, only one bracha. I wanted to hear that you make one bracha. Over there, most of the times you're going to be licking the ice cream first. Right. That's what's mamish the game. All the time. All the time. If you're going to start licking the bottom, you're going to make a hole and it's going to go yeah, through. Sandwich with right, that's what I'm saying. Chalant, I'll tell you, okay, throw it back in. Suffer, I don't know what to do. Throw it back in. When it comes to ice cream and a cone, if you were taught I don't know. I don't know what you came out. That's what I'm trying to ask you over here. That was afraid to answer. Um, no. I break, off, I, I break off a piece of the cone and make a bracha for it. That's what I do. You'll take a piece of cone. Okay, that's a very smart idea because you learned brachas brachas. But if someone doesn't know what are you saying, I didn't say it. The, pro- the problem, Rabbi Linsky, is cookies and cream ice cream. We have the ice cream with the with the cookies inside it. Ice cream with the cookies inside. Oh, that's a big shot. That I spoke to uh, Brazil, that, that I have a lot of. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, fine. Okay, the guy at the end of the chassan. Okay, simchas daicha. You missed the carbon tomid, but uh, yeah, yeah, but kids. So getting back to it. So what, what we're trying to figure out is again, I was not much here chalent I'm just, I just, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of different opinions on chalent, and very important. Well, oh, the, we're holding to that. No, no, I, I want to talk something else, and just uh, we'll get back to uh, try to get back to everything. You know, there's a there's a Michael called Crispix. You know what that is? Crispix. Crispix. Two sided, two sided cereal. Yeah. Two sided cereal. There's no rave. There's no chashivas. There's nothing. What is on one side? Corn on one side and rice on the other. Rice on both sides. So this is a regular shayla that was not brought down, and they didn't have this in the mechaber and more mishabur days. This is a new shayla. What bracha do you make on Crispix? You can't put it back in the bowl. There's no eitz. Michael Shang Shu, the title is sitting over there, get me a clock. Well, what do you do with that? So, Rabbi Heinemann in Baltimore says, you make two brachas on that. There's no hicker, two brachas. Now, it's very hard because you have to have good teeth and you have to get right in between. Because if you're going to eat part of that dhamma while you, right, yeah, again, we're talking about as rice on one side. Corn corn on the other so you have, yeah. Do they still sell this? I'm sure they do. Yes, that. definitely. Okay, you eat it every morning, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't get it because the bracha is real. Oh, really? Okay, let's get it because the bracha. So, so interesting enough, Rabbi Forshaim came out with a sefer two, three years ago, or two, maybe maybe a year or two ago, called Arich Yaakov, I think it's called that. Right? So he has this sh- Shaila in his sefer, and he and Chris picks it. There's a whole chuva written on Crispix. It's called Ayach Yaakov and Simon Lama Dalit. Over there, he comes out. He paskins, you make him a Zionist. It's a whole nice. There's Rabbi Belsky said, you make a Shahaka. Oh, here you go, Crispix. Oh, shame to have it. Five, seven, nine, it's pretty cheap. It's not because the truth. No, the, the picture over there shows it. So, yeah. Rabbi Belsky said, so again, Rabbi Heinemann said, you make him a Zionist and Adama. Rabelsky said, you make a shakal. Rabbi Forst wrote that uh, you make a shakal. Rabbi Forst says you make a mazanis. I would stay away from all of it. And we have a whole arichas on this. Right. What the, not for now. But like upon him, yeah. So now let's go back. Let's try to make some sikum because we have to remind to know what to make brachas over here. So. How we can do that? Okay. Okay, so let's let's try to make somewhat of a sikum. We started with a we started with a clay with the machlekes actually between the derech chaim and the and the prima gav. Derech chaim and the mishabura brings down the derech chaim and the bealacha, and he brings the prima and the mishabura. Prima gavim said you go bossa right. The derech chaim says you go bossa chashivas. That was a machoikis, which there's no klora achra. We said that the Bayashim said one way, the Mechazasha says another way. There's no really klora achra. And on that, let's say that we'll go with the Meshavura for us to be machria. We'll say we go bus a rave. And when you have a salad with chicken, you go bus a rave. The salad is the rave normally, therefore you would make adama. Okay? And we said even last week, again, we have to just repeat this, that to take out the chicken is not a pashta eitz. To say that I want to make two brachas and take it out before is not a pashta eitz because I'm eating together. Rabbi Trapper doesn't like that, but that's what. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, okay, fine. Okay, okay. Okay, right, true. So, therefore, so over there, we said you go by Sarev and you would make Adam. Now, what we discussed was a very important nakuda is if many times you're going to, by mistake, have the tuffle before the ikka. Do I make a bracha on it? We said, the Maisa, the Mishaburu is machria, even though the Ramah says one way, and we have three or machlaikis, but the Mishaburu is machria that you make its bracha. Which means, if you, by mistake, you have a salad, and you have the chicken in the salad, and you put, you took out the chicken, by mistake first, you'll make a shakal, even though on the salad you really make adama. So you can end up making two brachas on the salad. 
Normally, you don't make two brachas on the salad, but over here, you make two brachas on the salad. That's what we, that's, but the Medina Meshavur says, but the best states is to put it right back in. Fine. So that's, you could do it that way, yeah, but if not, you put it back in and make sure you get the Cheerios first, the vegetables first, whatever, you, whatever you're dealing with. Okay, that materials and milk in the same food. That's 100% okay. That's even better. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's the best thing. Exactly. Now, um, ice cream sandwich. So, okay, that's not really, we, we weren't really looking to discuss that, but oh, you discussed it already. The mice again, that's a big machlaikis. So, I just want to just tell you like this don't be so quick to make two brachas if you're eating a tachasuda, if you're eating it for dessert. Because the mazainis, we don't normally make the Mazayin Tachasuda. So does that, I just want to bring up a very Victor Ginnakuda, which you probably didn't discuss. Does that make the Shahakal stronger? Let's say you only make Mazayinus on ice cream salad. You make Mazayinus, you came out with a Psak, Kham Pirshamik says like that, Kham says like that, Kham Pirshamik says like that, Kham says like that. We have enough of a lineup to make just a, a Mazayinus. Now, you're coming to Tachasuda, eating it for dessert, you don't make Mazayinus as dessert because it's cake. Right? Do I, this did give me a bigger license to make a shaka. Here, let me hear the shana. Was that discussed? No. This is a very wichtig shana in the game. Every shana should this. You okay? You came out. Whoever gave the share before, gracious, they said an ice cream sandwich. You make only mizanis, and we said many, many places more than that. Fine, but over here I'm not making mizanis because take a suda. Should I now have a license to make a shaka? There's no. anyways a button that says you make two brachas. Why isn't it part of if you make only mezanis on the whole thing? It's one Michael. That's oh. all the Michael. But do I consider that that now I'm eating the tofu that doesn't have a bracha? No, it's whatever white, whatever part of the the the, the cookie part of it part is the tofu. Okay, so the Daniel, it's poshit that whatever part is the cookie part is the the chocolate. I on the cookie, I'm not making a bracha. But the Dhamaitsi part of the cookie. The Dhamaitsi part is the ice cream. Is that true? Are you so positive about that, Rabbi Kabach? Yeah, you mask him. You mask him the day, you can fight with him. Anyway, you can Yeah, anyway, good. Yeah? Have a trap, or no? You mask him? You're thinking about that. That's a good child. Okay, we're going to leave that by a child for now. But that's a very good child. Let's see if someone else in the week is going to discuss that child. You hear the child? Do I say that the Iker? If I don't make a bracha on the ikir. Okay, so one second. Let's go to other cases. But I just want to throw that child in. Matzah with herring, we discussed? Okay. Matzah with herring. A cracker with herring. What do you make? What bracha do you make on that? Every kid is Rabbi Black. What bracha do you make? Two brachas. That's very easy to make two brachas. You, before you put it on, eat part of the herring. And eat part of the because over there you have to put it together to make so that's partial because many people are eating the herring and the mat the crack is just the tuffle for the herring. That's very complicated to say that you just make a mazinus if they have starker places. We're not going to go into that. Challenge because it's hard to say you have a culture age, but you don't want to start with the culture age. But. And the mice, uh, people are people are eating. I know, but that's no, that's the herring that was so you couldn't eat without. My days, that's. It's not a mission for ashes. Not that. It's not like those had those having that, that you couldn't eat. Yeah, Pesgonites, that's also good. Um, Chala, what bracha do you make? Rabbi Shlomo Miller told me, again, we know that this, everyone has a different opinion on this. Rabbi first told me, even though Amosha said over, Rabbi Simcha Zalim, the Dayan and Bris, that you make him a Zionist, Amosha himself told him, you make three brachas. I don't know. You can't see the barley and the barley dissolve. Oh, the barley dissolve. So that makes problems. That 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 gets a little more difficult. But the right, yeah. I I I I during the week I eat three things before. That's what I do because I stop. Why not? No, because they have a real machlekes in. Kiddush, kiddush, kiddush. Oh, kiddush mashu. I'll make sure I have three things before. But that's myself. What should someone do? I'm telling you, Moshe and the Debitzina said that you make three brachas. What happens only if Shaka Yavid 
soda, and you make kiddush in the eye. So now you can't have a taco there either. Oh, okay, okay, good, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, your, your chat, no? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't say yes, I can't say no. Told you make at home is different than a child that third in the thing. Third and third thing is more everything's more, more of it's more it. Oh. it could be, I don't know. I, I, I it could be it could, it could be, it could be. I mean, first thing to tell me this nafkamina. I'll just say what Rabbi Trapper, Rabbi Trapper was saying that it makes an nafkamina. How more is it? How how much? If it's just little piece, stringy pieces of meat, just around this, the Moshe would never say you make a shakal. The Moshe only said when you had a piece, a chaticha of a piece of meat, and you had a chaticha of a potato, and you have the barley. So even though you're eating it together, but it's nicker, it's, it's it's each one. So the other over here wants to say that it makes an nafkamina. Shlomo wants to say. Makes enough community. Normally, the store bought depends. A lot of times, it could be like that. It's it's all together. When your wife makes it, normally it's not so anger back, but together. That's what. Reb, yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, Reb Shiol de Blitzky, he says that uh, since it's a big chashash, he says that I might do three things together, but that's not halacha. That's that's a thing to do. What bracha to make on this lemaisa? I'm telling you that Rabbi Steinberg, Rabbi Steinberg told me. Shlomo Miller told me that if there's a lot of sayim, you make just a mazanis. Wow. If there's a lot of bali, you make just a mazanis. And we're saying if Simcha Zalik held like that, Mechan Knievsky, Shlomo Zalman, Abel Yashiv, Mishnah Alochis, Mishnah Karelitz, we're going to stop here, but there's definitely a lot more to be discussed. Mishnah next week, we're moving on. So hopefully this week, thanks for listening, and hopefully you should make sure you eat the barley first. Yeah, definitely. That was the shayla with the tafel and the ikka, and not to eat the tafel first. It's complicated? Yeah. yeah. All right, tomorrow. Yeah, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Tomorrow.